Hey guys, here. let's go over a quick pediatric echocardiogram frequency. Let's go ahead and bust this out. What does this video demonstrate and what must be present to help prevent poor perfusion in the lower half of the body? Is it A, tricuspid atresia and a right to left ASD? B, truncus arteriosus and a left to right ASD? C, interrupted aortic arch and a right to left PDA? Or is it D, aortic coarctation and a right to left PDA? The answer is C, interrupted aortic arch with the right to left PDA. This defect is caused by D. George syndrome or 22Q11.2 deletion. And there's roughly three types. And the first type is type A, which interrupts distal to the left subclavian artery. Type B, which is the most common type of interrupted aortic arch. This interruption occurs between the left subclavian artery and the left common carotid artery. Type C, which is the least common type of interrupted aortic arch interrupts between the brachiocephalic, which is the innominate or the nominate artery, and the left common carotid artery. These patients absolutely need a right to left PDA to help perfuse the lower half of the body because essentially that's the only blood supply coming from the heart. One thing that is contraindicated is ibuprofen because ibuprofen will actually close the PDA. What the patient needs is prostaglandins to keep that PDA patent and open. The typical surgery that's performed is they'll take the upper and lower part of the aorta and they'll connect it in end-to-end -end anastomosis. Thanks so much for watching.